A Virginia Beach man is in jail tonight after threatening to shoot Congressman Scott Taylor and two of his staffers. 69-year-old Wallace Godwin appeared in federal court this afternoon. Now, this happened a day after investigators say he made those threats at Taylor's office in Virginia Beach. And then your side's Kara Dixon spoke with Taylor about this. Kara? Yeah, Tom and Nita, Taylor told me that Godwin's known to his office, and this isn't the first incident they've had, but since violence was threatened, they took it seriously. He says some of his staffers didn't come into work today because they didn't really know what was going on. He says he actually kind of feels sorry for Godwin because of he had to resort to that threat, but Godwin needs to be held accountable. I don't want to be out in the public and put other people in danger. You know, so so I, it is a sigh of relief. A sigh of relief from Scott Taylor while a man accused of threatening to shoot him and two of his staffers is behind bars. I'm OK. Personally, I'll be I'll be fine, you know, um, but again, this is a serious thing and it's something that that people should take seriously. And I'm very proud of my, of my office for reacting very quickly and handling the threat. According to court documents, Wallace Godman came into Taylor's Virginia Beach office Thursday to talk about Taylor's marijuana policy. Taylor wants to decriminalize the drug. Godwin doesn't agree. He's had numerous conversations in the office with my with my staff uh, where he's been rude to before. And and this time, uh, as I said, I mean, he obviously threatened violence. Court documents say Godwin told a staffer, quote, Scott is having an event this Saturday. I'm going to get my shotgun and do something about this. Then he told the staffers, you two are next. Taylor wasn't there at the time, but says Godwin was quickly removed from the building. If somebody walks in our office, it doesn't matter who you are, what, what party you are. You have an issue with the federal government, you have an issue with Social Security, with your, your VA health care, whatever it is, you're seen and they, and they help you. It's not Taylor's first encounter with Godwin. Taylor says he's been approached at his home. Right over there in the garage, at one point he blocked my car in and came in and I'm like, what the hell are you, what are you doing? Godwin appeared in federal court and will have another hearing next week. He faces a maximum of 10 years in prison. There's so much more that unites us out there in Virginia and America. And quite, quite frankly, the political discourse in our country right now has, has risen to levels that are, that are dangerous. And I think that everyone just needs to calm down. Now, Godwin did threaten to harm Taylor at one of his events tomorrow. Taylor says he believes everything will go fine and that the threat has been eliminated because of Godwin's arrest. He thanks the Secret Service, Capitol Police, and the Virginia Beach Police Department for acting quickly and ensuring safety. In the newsroom, I'm Kara Dixon, 10 on your side.